What's up everybody, good morning. It is 5.30 a.m. and I am driving to downtown Los Angeles to check out the Simply Bread Oven. Now this is supposed to be a game changer and one of the best micro baking ovens out there. So let's go check it out. Hey, what is up? Good morning. It is 6.45 a.m. I am downtown Los Angeles in Long Beach and I'm out front of Coffee Parlor. I'm gonna go inside and we're gonna take a look at the new Simply Bread Oven. Now, this oven is designed for micro bakeries, for home baking, and it looks amazing. So let's go inside and check out what this oven has to offer. Hey, what's up everyone? So we are sitting out front of Coffee Parlor in Long Beach, California. Uh, I'm here with Stein. Stan. Stan, sorry. <laughs> I'm here with Stan. And we are talking about the Simply Bread Oven. So we were just inside, we checked it out. They're baking some phenomenal breads. Uh, this new oven, in my opinion, is going to change the way micro bakers, bakeries, coffee shops bake bread in North America. And I wanted to come down here firsthand, so I drove down. LA traffic to check it out and we're going to talk a little bit about the oven and what its features are and why you should look out for it. Okay, um, so maybe a little bit of background. Yeah, let's um, do it. So I've, you know, um, growing up in Europe, great local bread, fresh bread every day. Missed it when I came to the US, uh, been baking for a long time, um, mainly out of Dutch ovens. A few years ago, wanted to scale it up and um, do more. I've been baking with uh, Dutch ovens in uh, convection oven. You know, it's very tough, very hard uh, to scale it up. So start looking into the micro bakery community, into um, into ovens that people use. Couldn't really get the right product. Not really the product I wanted. But, you know, it was also difficult just to get one. Um, so uh, started the design. I've got a background in engineering and product design. So. Um, designed the product that I wanted actually, something with the right features and the right usability as, as, as I would love to have it. Can you describe some of the key features of the oven and sort of what makes it? So, so I think when you're looking at these types of ovens, obviously what you're trying to do is take a professional deck oven and make that into something that is mm -hmm. more compact mm -hmm. and could be used at home, but also can be used in a commercial professional yeah. scale, which is what they're doing what here. What they're, they're doing here, right? So, I mean, this is not a, a commercial bakery. Um, this is a coffee shop but that's has a lot of output. We've seen he's been baking oh, it's hundreds. Awesome. They're baking hundreds, epic bread. Yeah, no, very nice bread. Um, dozens or you know maybe 60, 70 loaves uh, every morning. The main features um, are sort of larger baking surface, 20 by 20. A lot of people have been asking to have a little bit more space. You know, 800, 900 thousand gram loaves. You can still do four in a 20 by uh, in a 20 by 20 baking stone. Uh, the, the larger viewing window, everyone is, you know, we all want to see what's happening. Guilty. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, you know, we want to see caramelization, <laughs> we want to take out the loaf at the exact right moment, and it's not well, always it does. Easy. It does suck when you have to, like, open the door to peek into your Yeah, room. right, and, you're like, and you're losing steam, done? and, you know, know, that was a big design requirement. Better built, um, you know, especially if we go to places like coffee shops, etc. Um, heavier, uh, a little bit heavier steel we're using. Uh, so the build quality was important for us. Uh, the steam uh, generation, of course, there's a reservoir on top. You can water, just push the button for how much steam you want. You can um, re-release steam during the bake. Uh, the steam release was important for us. It's, you know, it's on the side of the oven. Uh, you can open it uh, just the right moment. Um, and then there's, you know, a little bit more sophistication to it when it comes to temperature control, etc. Where we, where we have a lot of possibility, also to the future where we have a lot of possibility and data. So I don't know if I'm allowed to ask this, but we did talk a little bit about um, data and data points, and I know it's something that you're working on. Is there anything mm -hmm. that you want to like sneak preview? Yeah, right we, now? we sort of, you know, I think when you design a product today, you, you know, you sort of need to look into having a little bit more insight, right? Because for us, it's not just telling an oven, it's really helping bakers, micro bakers, etc., coffee shops, um, or small bakeries, 
be successful. And um, the more data you have on their baking, on um, on how they use the product, the more we can help out and the more advice we can give you when it comes to setting temperature, releasing. Yeah, you know, we can tell yeah. you things like power consumption. We can tell you um, heat up times and baking cycles, etc. usage. Um, I, I think also from, you know, because people are getting, especially micro bakeries, like a lot of people are making money and, and it's run like, like a small business. So having some insights in your performance and your quality, right, etc. you know, can only make you better. And, and, and so that's also something we wanted to. I, I think we're really trying to um, help bakers run their business as efficient and of course the best quality of products, right? Wow, so, cool. so that's something we're, we're sort of really excited about. I don't know, the way craft food goes and artisan foods, I really think that a lot of places want to make them in-house and when, you, I mean, you're coming from Belgium and, 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 you know, you look at like somewhere like France, they usually have a bakery that supplies a lot of places, but here we don't have that and everyone wants to make it themselves, so if you're having a coffee shop like here, you're making sandwiches, I think that's so awesome to be able to bake your bread in-house and tell your customers, hey, we made this in-house with this flour and you can see it right here and then you're eating that sandwich and they're pulling the breads out and that just adds no, to the whole experience. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's about amazing. Experience. It's amazing. I think it's about, it's about experience. experience. Uh, my name is Josh Knight. This is Coffee Parlor in Long Beach, California. Uh, scratch Kitchen, Scratch Bakery, Specialty Coffee Shop. All right, you want to just walk me through and show me the setup here? The setup here? Well, here we have a small bake area. We rock a Rondo sheeter, two Hobart mixers, and two tables, small but mighty. Oh, buddy, they look amazing. I try to tell everybody that when I first started this place, I was just giving you what I wanted as a surfer who was getting up in the morning and going out and, and drinking coffee and eating good pastry. So I really think that comfortably I could probably comfortably do 90 loaves a, a day off that thing. No problem. That's pretty good, man. I know people that, that have three Rothkos that run a, a huge programs off of them. So the Simply Bread Oven is that 15 minutes is, is, is dope. So, I'll be honest with you, everyone doesn't think 15 minutes is a lot on production time, but that's a third. 15 of, minutes over 90 loaves of bread over six days a week, five days a week is a lot of A time, lot, right? a lot of time. And so, you know that my customers love that they can actually see everything too. Yeah. So that full view window is amazing. Just so you know, we're actually talking right now in the middle of the production space, and it's like real small. So they are pumping it out of here and the quality of the product's amazing, they're pumping it out, and they're actually working around me, so I'm trying to sort of like dodge them and everything, uh, but that's kind of real life when you're using these kind of spaces and maximizing these spaces. The only time I really do something and it really takes off and it is because I really, really believe in it and I really want to do it, and I want to have the product, right? It's not this sort of, um, oh, let's do, uh, blockchain or VR, well, we'll, you know, we can do that, but, you know, it's, it's just like, I'm just interested in baking bread and people and, and, and community and good food and enjoying ourselves and building relationships. And it's only when we do something I feel, or at least for me, um, it's only when I do something and build a product and that I really, really feel good about and that I feel people feel good about and that delivers, etc. and that I sort of enjoy that it sort of works, you know? So, yeah.